Beetlejuice, the enormous red supergiant. In Orion has long captured the imagination of astronomers and stargazers alike with its sheer scale and ruddy brilliance lying approximately. 642 light years away, it stands as one of the most luminous stars visible to the naked eye constant fixture in the winter sky that has inspired all four centuries its size defies imagination if placed at the center of our solar system Betelgeuse's swollen outer layers would engulf mercury venus earth mars and extend well beyond jupiter's orbit this extraordinary scale makes a natural laboratory for studying the life cycles of massive stars offering a glimpse into the violent processes that shaped the evolution of the universe for years. Betelgeuse has fascinated scientists with its turbulent behavior particularly, its sudden and dramatic dimming episodes. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star's brightness fell so significantly that speculation erupted around the world was this the herald of an imminent supernova. Media outlets buzzed with the idea that we might witness one of the most spectacular cosmic events in human history, a nearby star ending its life in a titanic explosion briefly outshining the moon and remaining visible even. During the day, this dramatic fading sparked both excitement and intense scientific scrutiny telescopes worldwide, both on Earth and in space, turned their gaze toward Orion hoping to catch the earliest signs of a stellar death throw. What followed, however, was less a final act than a confounding twist after. Months of dimming Betelgeuse gradually recovered its brightness leaving. Astronomers' puzzle theories proliferated was it a massive star spot, a dust cloud ejected from its own surface or a combination of both. Researchers worked feverishly to model the star's complex atmosphere and its enormous convective cells regions of rising and falling plasma many times the size of our sun, the variability, underscored just how little we truly understood about the final stages of red. Super giant evolution, yet this uncertainty also set the stage for one of the most ambitious astronomical efforts of the 21st century enter the James Webb Space Telescope Humanities, most advanced eye on the cosmos launched with the goal of peering deeper and clearer into space than any previous. Instrument Webb was designed to see through cosmic dust with its powerful infrared sensors and to reveal hidden structures in everything from the earliest galaxies to the surfaces of nearby stars when it turned its golden mirror toward Betelgeuse scientists hoped it would finally unravel the mystery of the star's strange behavior. The results did not disappoint rather than a calm dying star web revealed a thin cauldron of activity. Its sensitive instruments showed a turbulent surface alive with massive hotspots and bright patches where violent outbursts hurled gas and dust far into space. These colossal ejections created vast, irregular clouds that could obscure the star's light when viewed from Earth far, from a sign of imminent collapse. Betelgeuse's dimming episodes appear to be evidence of its chaotic and unstable. Outer layers shedding material in dramatic fashion, the stellar mass. Ejections are not gentle winds, but enormous explosions that can eject huge quantities of matter temporarily forming. Thick, cool dust that blocks visible. Light, in effect, the star was periodically veiling itself in its own. Expelled atmosphere, such behavior had been theorized but never observed in. Such vivid detail webs, infrared view, pierced the obscuring dust and delivered. The first clear evidence of these violent convulsions challenging, long-held assumptions about the late stages of massive star evolution. The implications are profound for decades. Astrophysicists have modeled the end of life processes for supergiants as relatively predictable progressions. Nuclear fusion in the core moves from hydrogen to helium, then to carbon oxygen. And finally, iron, once iron builds up in the core, no further fusion can generate. 
the energy required to counteract gravity the core collapses in an instant, triggering a type 2 supernova, cataclysmic release of energy that can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief time the surrounding outer layers are blasted into space enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements like iron gold and uranium the raw materials for new stars planets and even life betelgeuse is expected to follow this path eventually but the web images reveal that the timeline might not be so straightforward instead of steady march toward collapse betelgeuse appears to be experiencing cycles of instability and mass loss that could last years or even decades some. Scientists see these events as the harbinger of its final evolutionary phase an unpredictable prelude to the inevitable collapse. Others argue that the star may stabilize at least temporarily as it sheds enough material to restore balance. This debate underscores the need for continuous monitoring and new models that better reflect the messy real-world behavior of supergiant stars while the James Webb telescope continues to watch Betelgeuse. Other observatories stand ready for the, the star's ultimate demise facilities that detect neutrinos elusive, nearly massless particles that can escape from a collapsing core even before light does are on high alert instruments like Japan, Super Cameo Candy, and the Ice Cube. Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica are designed to capture these ghostly messengers which will offer the first unambiguous sign that Betelgeuse core has given way the neutrino burst will precede the supernova's visible light by hours providing a vital early warning. Simultaneously, gravitational wave detectors such as LIGO and Virgo are prepared to record the subtle ripples in space seam that a core cap supernova might produce these multiple complementary signals light neutrinos gravitational waves will create an unprecedented multi-dimensional portrait of a dying star when the explosion does arrive it will be spectacular Betelgeuse's relative proximity means the supernova will shine brighter than any in recorded history possibly rivaling the brightness of the moon for weeks or even months it would dominate the night sky becoming visible even during daylight hours it would be a rare gift for both scientists and the general public a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to watch a cosmic drama unfold in real time instruments ranging from a Hubble space telescope to web and countless ground-based observatories will scramble to capture every detail across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio. Waves to gamma raise this wealth of data. Will help answer some of astronomy's most persistent questions. How exactly does the shock wave propagate through a massive star's layers? What asymmetries and instabilities shape the explosion? How are heavy elements forged in the crucible of a supernova distributed into the surrounding interstellar medium, the ability to study such processes at close range without the obscuring effects of interstellar dust that limit observations of distant supernovae represents a monumental advance for the field beyond the raw science Betelgeuse. Impending supernova carries a deep human significance for thousands of years. People have looked up at Orion and woven Betelgeuse into their stories and myths. From ancient Egyptian sky ore to the hunter of Greek legend, such an event would almost certainly ignite a renewed popular fascination with astronomy. It could inspire a new generation of scientists and engineers much as past. Milestones from Galileo's first telescope to the Apollo moon landings sparked surges of curiosity and innovation. It would also be a testament to humanity's technological progress, instruments capable of catching neutrinos and gravitational waves were unimaginable a century ago. Now they stand ready to record a supernova in exquisite detail. The James Webb Space Telescope itself is an achievement of astonishing precision and ambition, designed not only to look at the farthest galaxies, 
but also to reveal the hidden lives of stars much closer to home despite the scale of the explosion. Betelgeuse poses no real danger to life. On Earth, its distance ensures that harmful radiation and cosmic rays will dissipate before reaching us at most. Scientists speculate that it might slightly alter Earth's upper atmosphere, in subtle ways perhaps enhancing auroras, in latitudes unaccustomed to seeing them. Such light shows would be one more gift, from a dying star, a final spectacular, sign of its ongoing connection to the planet it has long illuminated for. Scientists, the supernova would be a data. Bonanza offering crucial tests for theoretical models of core collapse. Physics by comparing observations with simulations researchers could refine their understanding of how massive stars die and what determines whether the remnant will be a neutron star or a black hole neutron stars are city-sized. Objects so dense that a single sugar cube of their matter would weigh billions of tons on Earth if the collapsing core is massive enough. Gravity overcomes even neutron. Degeneracy pressure producing a black hole, a region from which not even light can escape observing these possibilities in real time at relatively close range would provide insights that have long eluded science. Moreover, the explosion will likely generate gravitational waves. Einstein's predicted ripples in spacing that have only recently been detected. Instruments like LIGO and Virgo will be poised to record these subtle signals, adding yet another layer to the multi messenger approach that combines electromagnetic neutrino and gravitational wave data together. These observations will offer the most complete view yet of how gravity energy and matter interact under the most extreme conditions known in the universe. As the world waits for Betelgeuse's final act, anticipation mixes with wonder. Whenever the explosion comes next year, next decade, or beyond, it will be a monumental moment, not just for astronomers, but for all of humanity. It will remind us of our place in the cosmos, our dependence on the life and death of ancient stars for the very elements that make us up and our unquenchable drive to understand the universe in the brilliant glow of Betelgeuse final farewell we will see both an end and a beginning a cosmic cycle that connects us to the stars and to each other forever inviting us to look up and wonder as scientists await this long anticipated event they continue to refine their preparations teams around the globe have coordinated observation campaigns designed to activate the moment Betelgeuse core Collapse is detected space-based. Observatories will turn instantly to capture the earliest light while ground-based telescopes will switch to spectroscopic analysis to dissect the explosion's chemical signature. This unprecedented coordination between instruments on Earth and in space represents the culmination of decades of technological advancement and global collaboration in astronomy, crucially. Betelgeuse's proximity offers a test, case unlike any in modern times. Supernovae in other galaxies, even when bright enough to see, are often too far. A way to resolve in detail light from those explosions can be obscured or scattered by interstellar dust, but with Betelgeuse practically in our cosmic neighborhood, every stage of the event can be observed with remarkable clarity. From the first burst of neutrinos to the last fading ember of its glowing remnant, astronomers will be able to track the development of the expanding shock wave in real time seeing how it interacts with material the star has previously shed in its violent mass ejections. These observations will also help answer fundamental questions about stellar feedback the way exploding stars enrich and sculpt their galaxies as Betelgeuse blows off its outer layers at will, contribute heavy elements to the Orion, molecular clouds perhaps triggering the birth of new stars in the process. Such 
cosmic recycling is not just an abstract concept. It is the process that produced the raw materials for our solar system. Billions of years ago, every atom of carbon in our bodies, every molecule of water we drink was forged in ancient stars that lived and died long before. Our sun was born in watching Betelgeuse. Demise, we will witness this cosmic cycle, renewing itself, once more connecting the life and death of a distant star to our own origins and future the cultural dimension of such a visible supernova. Cannot be understated Betelgeuse has inspired countless myths and stories over millennia and its sudden transformation will surely echo in art, literature, and popular imagination news of its explosion will travel instantly across our hyper-connected world uniting people on every continent in a shared moment of cosmic wonder for some it will be a visceral reminder of nature's power and beauty for others it may ignite a lifelong curiosity about the universe it will almost certainly inspire the next generation of scientists who will remember the time they saw a star die with their own eyes yet even as we wait for Betelgeuse's final bow it continues to surprise us its surface remains restless and convective its dimming episodes mysterious it may yet defy our predictions delaying its explosion for decades even centuries but the waiting itself has value it pushes us to improve our models to refine our instruments and to coordinate internationally in ways that make the entire field of astronomy more robust whether the supernova comes tomorrow or in a hundred years Betelgeuse has already taught us to watch to wonder and to recognize our place in an ancient ever-changing universe in its light flickering across centuries to reach us